Hello, Internet people. Did you know that broken links can affect your SEO rankings negatively? If there's a lot of broken links, Google is not a fan of that. But what can you do if you have a lot of articles? Do you need to click each link to see if it's broken? Luckily, no. It's all detected automatically. In this video, I'll show you how to find and fix broken links in WordPress by using a plugin. And Arnie will explain how it all works. Crush your enemies, see them driven before you, and they hear a lamentation. Broken links. Tip sweat punch. First, I'll show you how to find and fix links that are pointing to other domains by using a broken link checker plugin. And then I'll show you how to detect which URLs and links are broken on your website by using Google Search Console. And then we're gonna fix it with a plugin. All right, I'm here in my WordPress dashboard and let's install the link checker plugin. It's super easy. Just go to plugins and add new and then type in in the search box link checker. So you can see that the most popular one, that's what you want. Broken link checker install now and don't forget to activate it. All right, and now you're on your plugins page. Just find the broken link checker and click on the settings. And while it's loading, you can take it easy like this fella. The cool thing with this plugin is it actually starts to analyze all the links immediately. So the moment you install it, it analyzes and then it will give you a report. So for example, here I have one broken link. And I'll show you that in a second. And let's just go through some of the most important settings. So what this means is this plugin will check all the links every 72 hours. It will just check all the existing links every 72 hours, but the new links are actually checked quicker. Uh, and then you can also get an email notification when it detects any broken links. Actually, I'm going to disable it. I, I don't want to have that. But if you do want it, then you can just type in your email here or leave it empty and you'll use the normal, the general email that you have in your WordPress. So here you can also set a few things for CSS if they're broken, but actually I'm just gonna remove this. I don't think it's useful. And then the suggestions, I mean, in most cases you won't know. So it's, it's better you just update them manually. I hope you don't have too many and then this one warnings yes i want to keep them so then save changes no problem and then it's super important we do the next step look for links in so this is where you actually need to specify what what kind of links this tool looks for so in my case i want to add quite a lot of them so for example amp layouts blocks you could just select all of them if you want okay custom css maybe not Oh, and the responses, yes, schemas, search forms, user requests. You can even include posts that are in scheduled or draft. And that's a really cool way for you to verify that whatever you're writing is actually also working. And then just click on save changes. And then the third tab, let's take a look. I just want to see all of these I don't have daily motion Vimeo videos, so maybe those I don't need, but the rest is fine. I'm gonna, I want this tool to check all of them. Save changes. Arnie, what type of links do you have? I'm a cybernetic organism, living tissue over a metal endoskeleton. And in the protocol, you can ignore this part. I don't think you'll need it. Same thing with advanced. There's more settings here you can fiddle around with, but uh, for now it's fine. Now we wanna go back to here on the left, tools, and broken links and here you can see that i actually have two broken links one is uh, one i created because i thought i don't have any other links that are broken and the second one that's actually also broken and you can see here all your links that you have on your pages and different statuses with them and there's few with warnings. These I will check later because these seem to be legit. Like if I go to this URL, it's actually redirecting you to one of my videos. So I'm just, I think this is a false positive that this tool uh, creates. 
Um, I think most of these are okay. I'm gonna select all of them and tell the tool that actually you can say that it's mark as not broken. And I'm gonna remove this one because this URL is a bit weird. So I'm gonna check that one out. The rest I'll bulk update them. Okay, let's make it quick because my horse is getting tired. And now here in the broken, you can see I have few URLs here that I need to check. And the cool thing is about this plugin is you can update it directly here. So for example here, if you know what the URL should be, you can just update it here. Otherwise, what I like to do is you go here, edit, and it'll take you to the right place, to the right blog post. The only thing is you actually need to find the URL. So in here, what I will do is update this to something that is more relevant or at least it's not broken. And just like this, click on the update. And now if I go back to tools, broken links, you can actually see that it's already, sometimes it takes like a minute for it to recognize that it's actually already fixed. But uh, in my case, it's already gone. And now I would go through all of these URLs and see if they are actually something I want to fix or keep them. These look like something that I want to unlink. Oh yeah, one thing I forgot to mention is actually this plugin takes a lot of resources from your server. So please, once you're done with this, just set this either to like 720 hours, which is like a month or 360, which is every two weeks. Or you can just disable the whole plugin and then run it time to time when you feel like, okay, I need to check. And that's it. I've cleaned out all my broken links. As you can see, the plugin is super easy to use and it's really useful to just make sure that your, all your links are correct and not broken because you, uh, Google also looks at these and if there's a lot of broken links on your site, it's probably not that good for your SEO. And Arnie will demonstrate what Google does to your rank. So who are you, man? Hey, if you like this video so far, I would appreciate if you can hit the like button. That would help me a lot. Thanks. So we've just looked at the links that are going from your site to some other website. Well, what about the links on your site actually? So if there's any broken links or anything like that, what you can use is Google Search Console. And you should have already an account. If you don't, there will be a link in the description that explains how to install all of this, how to get Google Search Console on your website. So let's just get going under the coverage. Just click on it. If you don't have errors, that's good, but you also can go to exclude it and just unselect the errors and keep just excluded. You see that you have this not found 404 or soft for force. These are actually some links that Google is not able to crawl or for whatever reason is not able to find. So for example, if I click on this icon, you can see that something's gone wrong. So what you can do is try to go and find these pages and just create a simple redirect with a redirection plugin. Uh, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. And before you start doing this, Why are you running? It's super easy, so don't run away yet. So in your WordPress dashboard, just go to plugins, add new, and then type in redirection. And here I actually have already installed this. Just install it and don't forget to activate it. And once it's done, you can see here on the left under tools, you have redirection. Just click on that. And then I have few redirects already here. And then you can create add new. Let's grab, for example, this URL. So copy. And then paste it here. You can set the target URL. But uh, actually, I want to do a advanced one where I want to make it a I want to make it an error 404. But actually, instead of 404, I'm gonna select 410, gone. This tells Google that this page will not appear anymore. This is on purpose. I deleted this page on purpose and I'm gonna just redirect all the traffic to 
my home page and then create add redirect and you can see it's here so now if i grab this link and try to go there it looks the same if you right click anywhere on your page if you inspect it let's take a look click on the network tab and refresh the page and if you scroll to the top of this list you can see here it's actually a status 410 and that's what we want this will tell google in time that actually this page doesn't exist anymore and we don't want it to keep trying to index this page this is how you could just go through every url you have here and just redirect them or see why is it broken should it be directing somewhere else maybe it's an old post that actually has now a new url so maybe you need just a re 301 redirect so that google knows that this is a page that has been just redirected or changed my name is robert and if this is your first time here and you want to learn more about how to improve your website get more traffic and other website related stuff make sure to hit that subscribe Ding button dong. so you don't miss out on anything here are two videos that I think you should watch next. Whoosh!